Hey everybody, what's up? This is Crypto Cody, and I'm so excited to do another video for you guys. Guys, if you could do me a huge favor, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell notification, and maybe even leave a comment. That would mean the world to me. In addition to that, we're going to be talking today about the U.S. crypto crackdown news, as well as some really awesome information that I promised you guys that I was so excited about sharing with you. Let's hop into it. All right, guys, before we hop into the news, I just want to do a quick shout out to my boy, Jeff, and uh, his awesome Space God music is what he's been putting together for many years now, doing a phenomenal job. Highly recommend you guys uh, check out the link in the description below and just, you know, show him some love. Check out all these awesome, awesome beats that he's been working on. Um, so thank you, Jeff, for providing me with some awesome tunes as I work on this channel. All right, guys, so let's just uh, first take a look at the coin market cap. Uh, we are officially back, you know, almost hitting the $290 billion mark. So we're getting back up to um, just going back up, guys. I mean, I hope you guys took the opportunity of actually buying when you had that opportunity. I mean, it's so funny to me how much FUD comes out in the news and, you know, people get so scared and it's just like, dude, chill. It's a freaking correction. It's a healthy correction. The word healthy. You know, I mean, I, I don't know why people don't get so excited when they see the red. I get stoked when I see red. It is an option and a time for me to buy. And guys, guess what? I was buying when we saw the red. And um, I'm not saying that to boast. I'm just saying, get it in your heads. It's exciting to buy in the red. It is exciting to sell in the green. Of course, most of the people on this channel, as far as I'm concerned, we're all hodlers. We're going to be hodling as our, uh, our boy Crypto Tone was telling us the other day in our last uh, last interview. <laughs> and so, uh, but this is cool, guys. I mean, we're starting to see, you know, some serious prices going back up. Um, super exciting. And um, I believe we're going to just continue to see these numbers going up again and again. And uh, then we'll have, once again, another healthy correction. And the whole market's going to be freaking out. And we're just going to be hearing all kinds of stupid news like what we heard with the U.S. So let's hop into that actually for a sec. Okay, so check out this story. This is Forbes.com. Uh, Forbes put it as this blow to Bitcoin as a significant U.S. crypto crackdown suddenly revealed the U.S. Bitcoin and cryptocurrency community has had a rough week. Um, have we though? Have we really had a rough week? It's a few. The future is looking bleak. <laughs> okay, so how is it looking bleak? This week, Treasury Secretary Stephen uh, Molinchen warned significant new Bitcoin and cryptocurrency regulations are on their way. My goodness. Finally, we got some regulations on their way, huh? Minneapolis Federal Reserve President Neil, I cannot read that last name, branded cryptocurrencies as a giant garbage dumpster. <laughs> and the Department of Justice called Bitcoin mixing a crime. Um, however, the news has failed to do much of a move in the Bitcoin price which remains up almost 50% since its last uh, since the last beginning of the year, which of course it does. Guys, here's the reality. Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, it is a worldwide asset opportunity. Um, it is still heavily decentralized in so many aspects. It is, uh, it is a one world currency, one world commodity opportunity in the digital sense. So there's so much opportunity here. Um, and, and you're going to start seeing this more and more as mass adoption continues to, you know, come to fruition. Um, I mean, obviously, we're nowhere near mass adoption right now. But when we start seeing the cryptocurrency markets like above the trillion dollar mark and beyond, that's when you're going to start seeing people putting down regulations. Is that bad? Not necessarily. I mean, you got to understand that the United States, um, I speak specifically for the United States of America because that's my country. Um, but just about every country wants their cut when it comes to government. Uh, funding and whatnot, because here's the reality. Everyone gets taxed on capital gains. Um, cryptocurrency is obviously not a U.S. Um, asset, or at least unless you want to get into conspiracy theory like we were talking about on our last video with Crypto Tone, you know, he believes it's a possibility that it could have been created uh, by the U.S. Uh, or by China or by some kind of a government. But that doesn't change the fact that it's still a decentralized um, asset. It's a decentralized currency um, that doesn't have any regulations attached to it at all, which means that we are not obligated to pay taxes while holding those assets. The only time we have to pay taxes is when we convert it back to our, um, our actual government currency. So, I mean, this is elementary for a lot of people. Um, but just, you know, when you see these regulations, don't freak out because the reality is, is that the government wants to get a hold on the 
multi multi billion dollar market that's going on right now um and especially in the sense that money is flooding in from other countries into the u.s because we got people that are holding in the u.s and money's flooding in based on their capital gains so you're gonna see stuff like this and it's it's not a bad thing it's just part of the evolution of cryptocurrency in the united states and it's nothing to worry about what i would encourage you guys to do and of course i'm no financial advisor but you know we guys we are just we are just getting started with this whole market thing so just sit tight chill make sure you got a good wallet keep your passphrase or your special keys hidden in a box somewhere that no one can find them and just hang on for dear life and just enjoy this process as you are so fortunate to be a part of um, in the early stages of cryptocurrency. It's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. All right. So now this was really interesting. This happened um, over on February 11th, uh, 2020. So not too long ago. This was right before the big run up that we had where Bitcoin's price soars as Jerome Powell confirms crypto's threats to the US dollar. Now, uh, Jerome is the 16th um, chairman of the Federal Reserve. So big time news for them to be talking about cryptocurrency. And I actually just want to kind of share a video with you guys that he had with one of the congressmen um, that he was speaking to regarding Libra and some other information about crypto assets. In the U.S. economy, cash in the U.S. economy continues to grow at, at faster than nominal GDP. So it's yeah, but if you look at the if you look at the the curve of uh, adoption of payment by cell phone, you know, it starts slowly and then all of a sudden it just happens. And so that seems like that can that transition can happen in a period of, of just a couple of years. And so we have to be able to respond. You know, if that's the driving factor, then we have to be in a position where we can respond by you know, rolling out, for example, a digital dollar in, on the couple of year time scale. And so, so I, I just I, yeah. I completely agree with that. And I think, frankly, Libra really lit a fire under that and, and it was a bit of a wake up call that, that this is coming fast and could come in a way that is, uh, you know, that is quite widespread and systemically important uh, fairly quickly in, in, if you use one of these um, uh, big tech networks like, like, uh, like Libra did. So we're, we're working hard on it. We fully appreciate the importance of, uh, of making quick progress. We have not decided to do this, though. It, it, it is not, I think that there are many questions that need to be answered around a digital currency for the United States, including issues of cyber, you know, cyber issues, privacy issues, um, many, many operational alternatives present themselves. And so we're going to be working through all that and, and doing that work thoroughly and responsibly. But yeah. with do, some do you feel as though you have adequate visibility into what the Chinese are doing on this? Do you have sort of working level contacts of, that give you some idea of what their rollout is likely to do? Like, like they look like? Yes, I mean, I, I don't, we, we, we certainly have that, um, but uh, you know, they're in a completely different institutional context. There are things that, that, for example, the idea of having a ledger where you, where you know everybody's payments, that's not something that would be you know, particularly attractive in the United States context. It's not a problem in China. So, um, but nonetheless, um, but so we're, from a we're competitive point closely. of view, they're, they're claiming they're going to roll out, roll it out on the Belt and Road countries uh, sometime very quickly, um, and so this, you know, I urge you to keep keep the fire lit. Thank you. So, just to kind of recap on how exciting this is, guys, this is super exciting. What our chairman is saying here is he's saying, first of all, and, and this is what I'm excited about is, is that he's saying I don't want to invade. Our government doesn't want to invade our citizens privacy we don't want to be like china where china wants to have this communistic control over their people where they know where every little every little bit of payment is going and what it's going into and what it's going for therefore they can have the power to tax those people and have control of their lives there's absolutely no liberty in china as far as their plans for what they're going to be doing with cryptocurrency you got to understand that being able to see these transactions on the ledger the way that we currently see them right now, China wants to expand that into, identi into identity where it's actually not so protecting of privacy but invading of privacy. And the United States wants to do the opposite. They understand that we have growing technologies that are greater than the current U.S. dollar right now. And it's, um, and, you know, and, and the big wake-up call for the U.S. was when uh, Zuckerberg was talking about creating Libra. That was the big wake-up call, and that's what this chairman was just saying. 
But what I'm excited about is, is that the government wants to make this fair for the United States in the sense that, you know, we have lots of people living on U.S. soil and uh, we're, you know, we, we have benefits. Our benefits, we have protection, massive, massive, lethal uh, U.S. Army and Navy and all of the branches of our soldiers. And, uh, you know, we, we have all these different things that are good as incentives for us to live in the United States, we need to pay taxes. I mean, you have to understand, I'm not for paying taxes up the wazoo, okay? I'm not like that. But what I am for is is supporting the very things that are protecting us in America, the very things that make America actually great. And, um, you know, and they're, they're obviously far, few and far between. But with that being said, um, crypto assets and crypto digital currency is, in my opinion, not something that should be taxed because it's a worldwide currency. Um, to me, if you're making capital gains on Bitcoin, that's one thing. Um, you know, to be converting it back to US dollars is one thing. That to me, yes, makes sense. You should be paying taxes on capital gains with that. However, if you're just holding Bitcoin and say you put in, you know, $10,000 and you, st you know, you're well over a million a, a few years from now, not saying that that's what's going to happen, but let's just assume that, you know, arbitrary numbers here. Like, I don't think that we should be taxed on holding our Bitcoin. We should only be taxed when we convert it to the very, um, the very currency that our government identifies as our government's currency. So anyways, with that being said, I, mean, I just, you know, I'm I kind of beat a dead horse on that one, but I'm just excited because, you know, these regulations are the very thing that's actually going to bring more security to our people, which I think will actually grow the cryptocurrency market and thus giving us all more opportunity for more profits uh, with our assets that we hold. All right, guys. So final bit of news. I know that, you know, I, I mentioned in a few videos ago, I was saying that there was some awesome news that I really wanted to share with you guys, but I couldn't share it right away because I wasn't 100% sure yet. And uh, guys, I'm going to share that news with you now. What could it possibly be? Um, and uh, I'm, I'm super pumped about this. And this is going to be going on uh, actually today. It's uh, going to be taking place today. So what is the news? Boom, there it is. Guys, I'm going to be interviewing the one and only John McAfee. Really excited to be uh, interviewing him, just asking him a bunch of questions. And, uh, you know, I know that this interview is going to be taking place here in probably the next uh, 10 hours or so. So uh, maybe that'll give you guys some time to maybe, you know, throw in the comments below. What are some questions that you might have for John McAfee? And what I'll do is, is I'll look at those questions and uh, see if I can def uh, put together uh, some of those questions that you guys put down on the list uh, and see if I can work them in for him as well, because I'd love to be able to have him answer some questions with my viewers. So uh, really excited to uh, just kind of sit down and just kind of pick his brain a little bit. I think that he's got a lot of insight. You know, a lot of people think he's crazy, um, but personally, I think he's quite a genius. I think that, you know, he's, <laughs> you know, we're totally different in our approaches uh, morally, <laughs> but like other than that, I think the guy knows what he's talking about for the most part. So really excited, super pumped uh, to chat with him. Again, throw your comments down in this uh, below so I can kind of see if there's any questions that you might have for John McAfee. I'd love to have those questions answered for you. So uh, with that, guys, I pretty much that's all I got for today. Um, other than this other interview I'm going to be doing with him. Um, I'm going to maybe try to throw out another video. If there's any other videos that you guys want me to put out, just some different information about crypto review and whatnot, just throw that in the comments below as well. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, let's have an awesome, awesome week as we explode in the cryptocurrency world. All right. All right, guys. Crypto Cody out. Thank you.